And we're back to the way things were. If you're wondering, we're ha I'm having some difficulties with my monitor, so there's not going to be a background monitor photo for this installment of Comic Book 101. Don't know if there will be one for next week. I'm going to try and get that figured out before next week. With Black Panther coming out next week, I decided to do a 101 video on one of the movie's main villains, Killmonger. I am really, really, really excited to see Michael B. Jordan join, join the MCU, and I and also became very interested in who, in who not, I would say Claw, who Killmonger is as a villain, and when I was reading up on him, he has a very interesting comic book backstory. Anytime now. For starters, his name is Nchikata. He was actually a native to Wakanda until his dad worked with Claw and that got him and his whole family banished and they moved to Harlem, New York, where he would develop a hatred for both Claw and T'Challa and he would get a degree in engineering and an MBA from MIT. So, Killmonger's a smart dude. Later on, he would move back to Africa and live in a local village outside of Wakanda and it would later be renamed in Jakarta Village, and he would begin to ravage local villages, hoping to draw out the Black Panther. Killmonger and T'Challa would eventually do battle, but T'Challa would have to fight a leopard first. And after he he defeated a leopard, he he would fight Killmonger, and then Killmonger would throw him over the side of a waterfall, but it would not kill T'Challa. Because I mean, you can't kill the Black Panther. He's a Black Panther. Come on. When T'Challa returns, he would fight alongside King Calverter and I want to say Sombre, Sombra, Sombra Hummus, Sombrero, something that that sounds like Sombra, I don't know. And playing 200 Overwatch, a very unhealthy amount. I might have a problem with that. Hellmonger would eventually team up with Salent, Salamander, Salander, K. Rule after Sombra, or Sombre, Sombrero would eventually bite the dust. And eventually Killmonger would be killed and he would later be revived by the Mandarin. He would take over the mantle of Black Panther and Wakanda and then he would lose after Black Panther and Iron Man teamed up against him and the Mandarin and he would be reverted back to a corpse once again. He would then be brought back again and it would team up with Claw and then he would take over the mantle of Black Panther for a long time Tend to join the Avengers, and then he will be knocked into a coma after he ate a heart, which is some part of a Black Panther ritual. Didn't really pay, pay much attention on that. I just, yeah. He would come out of coma and, and help Casper Cole, who was a Black Panther at the time, save his son. And then he'll be killed by Monica Rambeau. So pretty much, if there's anything to learn from this whole video, he dies a lot. He's like he he's like Mike Myers. He's dead, but then he somehow comes back. So, anyways, that will do it for now. I have a video planned for Claw next week, and that will do it until Thursday. So, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.